All right, I'm going to show you how to log a call. First of all, you want to select the list that you choose to call from. In this case, HP Equipment Deliveries Main. I'm then going to select the account I'm going to work on. In this case, DreamWorks Animation. Please note the relation between accounts and contacts. Within an account, there are going to be multiple contacts. You'll know the difference up here when it states DreamWorks Animation or in the account field. Within an account, multiple contacts. You want to select each contact and work through until we've exhausted each contact within an account before moving on to the next account. When choosing which contact to start with, I like to choose the one that's most relative to our potential services, in this case, Asset Manager. Select Michael Perry. You'll know you've switched to accounts because the tab will switch to accounts and it will be an individual's name versus the account name. As you dial the number for Michael, you open your log a call screen. It is very important that your relation to the account is noted. He is related to DreamWorks Animation. As, you, as the phone rings through, you leave a message for Michael if he does not answer. You mark left voicemail message one, you save it, and you move on. As you go back to DreamWorks Animation, now that you've tried Michael and you're moving on to your next contact, you click on your account DreamWorks Animation. At this point, since you have made a call, you want to change the status for DreamWorks Animation to In Progress. This drop down will show you your choices. In Progress. To go through the call list, we call the next contact. Mike Cutler looks like a good one, Global Director of Infrastructure. Again, there's his phone number. As you dial, as the phone is dialed and ringing, you log your call. Make sure to change your relation. In this case, you speak with Michael. You want to change your subject to spoke with. A brief description of what you spoke with. Mike states service. Please okay. Please send. Yes. So Michael's given some feedback. And there's a follow-up task to be performed, send info. Right down here, your assigned information, you quickly populate, send an email, obviously you want it to be due as soon as possible. And if you have any specifics about the email, international services. At this point, you save it. The task is gonna be sent, and the call is gonna be logged. Now that we've made some, some progress, at this point within the account, we can continue on with calls if we want to other people, or we can move on to the account. The goal is to make contact and really get the account rolling in progress. It's not necessary to call multiple individuals if we feel we've gotten the right contact and we're moving through the sales process. In this case, you feel confident, you go back to the account DreamWorks animation, you change the status from in progress to follow up as a task has been assigned and that has moved on throughout the sales process. That is a process for logging a call with follow up in Salesforce.